Oh, Frank Martin versus Javante Davis. That's about to be a hell of a fight this upcoming weekend. That happens tomorrow. I think it is on the, yeah, tomorrow. Oh, no, this Saturday. Yep, it happens this Saturday. So um, the 15th is when we'll see Frank Martin and Javante Davis go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And I think these guys are fairly evenly matched across the board in a lot of different categories. But besides the hit power and experience, man, that might be just enough for Javante Davis to win comfortably. And I say that because with experience, you know, fighters are usually poised and they're great at adjusting to whatever is thrown at them. If something is making them uncomfortable, they know how to slip out and then just, you know, adjust to, to different things that's going to make sure they can contain or, or contain their ground and stand their ground. So, so because of that, Javante Davis gives me hope with the experience. And then hit power is always a factor because most people are not going to take too many hits from somebody who's landing them and they're known as a big puncher. Javante Davis is known as a big puncher. He's a big hitter. And when he's landing punches, it's rare that many opponents are going to last. We've seen that with Ryan Garcia. We've seen it in plenty of other fights that he's fought in where all it takes is him to hit a person three or four times good shots and it's over and i think freight martin he's really good he's skilled he's fast he's quick he has a good iq he has some experience under his belt but he's just not up there with javante davis and i think that's going to be the biggest factor here is because when you take those hits it's a wrap man you, you start to fold your legs start to get weak your body start to fail on you your, your knees start to buckle a little bit your vision start getting blurry all of those things start happening so you know it's hard for me to just put that past frank martin and i don't think he's fought a hitter like Javante davis yet tank has fought plenty of other people fought more than frank martin on a professional level and because of that he can adjust to whatever Frank Martin is throwing at him. So if Frank Martin comes out there and he's, you know, very much aggressive in that first round and aggressive trying to set the tone, I'm sure it's probably going to rattle Javante Davis just for a quick second. It may throw him off, but that's where the experience sets in. Because as soon as he adjusts to what Frank Martin is doing, hit the combinations and the speed that he, the patterns that he's throwing at him, I guarantee you Javante Davis is going to be able to, to pick him apart in a technical sense and find which way he's going to land that hard hit on him. I think I give it to probably about the seventh or eighth round until we really see Frank Martin start to, to, to fall down and buckle. I, I can't help but to think that Tank wouldn't have taken this fight if he thought Frank Martin was a serious threat. We see a lot now in today's boxing world that a lot of people are trying to go the Floyd Mayweather route. They want to be undefeated to say, oh, we're the best ever and I'm the greatest to ever fight and all of that. Like, But they don't fight anybody in a the process. They're not really fighting the baddest dudes out there. They're not really fighting the, the toughest boxers out there. So I'm glad they made this happen, but I still doubt that Gervonta Davis would have took this fight if he knew Frank Martin could really, really beat him. That's why he took the Ryan Garcia fight. That's why he took multiple fights throughout his career. We have yet to see one of the best boxers in the weight class. And I think Frank Martin is one of those best boxers in the weight class. But we've yet to see um, the huge names go at it. And we're just now beginning to see that in different weight classes. Thanks, thanks to the Haney and, and Ryan Garcia fight that recently happened. That was dope. I'm glad they made that happen. But above all... We're, we're, we're not, we haven't really seen that often. So many guys want to be undefeated. So I hope that changes, man. But ultimately, I got Tank winning this here. Maybe in the late round, I'm going to go ninth round. Ninth, ninth round, Javante Tank Davis is going to win this fight. Don't don't be shocked though if um, Frank Martin does win. No, that's not me calling Frank Martin on a win. I'm just saying he's a skilled fighter, so you, you can't completely put it past him to come out here and have some great adjustments as well, have some great combinations and all of that stuff too. So don't get it twisted. Frank Martin ain't no scrub. He's not a scrub. But I just think Tank, with the experience and the hit power, that's going to be the two things that really set him apart because he'll be able to pick Frank Martin apart um, later on in the rounds and then when those hits start to get real heavy on Frank Martin's body, it's going to be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap. He's going to have to go in straight defense mode. Might not be aggressive on the offensive end trying to attack Javante uh, Davis. So I think that's how it's going to pan out. 